six, seven, eight. Hey, 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 oh, oh, oh. Welcome to the Madhouse. My name is Mad D. Smith. I'm sitting with my friend, Caroline the... The bitch. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey. Maddie Smith and Caroline the bitch. Turn up, I'm a witch. Wiccan celebrations happen here and we are dancing, dancing, dancing. So let's start over. <laughs> Everyone, the rumors are true. I downloaded a soundboard app, so things are about to get pretty annoying. (laughs) (laughs) I'm about to have all y'all like... If you thought I was annoying, (laughs) then now's the time to realize that (laughs) it really is true. (laughs) (laughs) This shit is entertaining as fuck, dude, but you know what? We're going to hold off for one second. Where is that from? I don't know what that's from. What's up, you guys? Welcome <laughs> to the Madhouse. Welcome to the Madhouse. Welcome to the Madhouse. Welcome to the Madhouse. Oh, oh. Welcome to the Madhouse. Welcome to the Madhouse. Welcome to the Madhouse. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Solo episode today. The vibes are good. It's a balmy, what, 70 degrees out today? Mid-June. Still got pants on. The summer is, you know, a late bloomer this I like year. It. I like it. Mm-hmm. I like it. Because that means, you know, ease into it. When it's too hot early on, I get sick of it. Mm-hmm. But I like to ease into it. I like to wear a nice, nice soft pant. Mm-hmm. No socks today. And I got the hairiest tops of feet you ever saw in your <laughs> life. I got the hairiest feet tops you ever saw in your life. You got it. Like- <laughs> <laughs> What's the name of like Frodo? What are they called? Hobbits? Yeah, like Hobbit. What's the name of Frodo? <laughs> They're called Hobbits. Yeah, but they have hairy feet. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> they have hairy feet. How dare feet. you? <laughs> yeah, Frodo is a hobbit. Mm-hmm. And when I, so this is my problem. I, oops, I just showed feet. Michael, blur that out. Um, I forget about the, this, it's specifically this area See if audio mm-hmm. shout out, audio <laughs> shout out. It's like ankle foot. Do you see that? Do you see how curve. long this is? Yeah, but Look at that's that. a hard curve to get with a razor. And I always forget about it because you yeah. go, ooh, 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 yeah. ooh. Then you're on the train to your studio <laughs> and you look down and say, oh, well, how la da <laughs> Look at this little ecosystem right rug. here. <laughs> it's specifically this little, yeah. just right. And if you look closely, it really looks like the top of a man's. Mm-hmm. It looks like when a man's pants come up and you can see his dirt, hairy ankles. So there you go. Everyone asked me to send feet pics. I'm like, well, call me Bilbo Beggins. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> what is good in the freaking hood today? We got a couple segments. We're going to rate some gay people and uh, to celebrate pride uh, of which, you know, Caroline and I are unfortunately pretty straight i watched that movie on hbo um am i okay with dakota johnson is that a queer cinema yeah it's a queer cinema it's queer as fuck (laughs) but it wasn't it didn't show any lesbo sex which was annoying Uh, i was like why am i here had my theragun ready to go (laughs) and it's just her being like am i gay and then at the end she's like yeah i'm gay wow um it, it was you know it was like um She's pretty cute. She was wearing like a denim jacket. And then the beginning of the movie was like, I don't like her friends were like, why don't you let this guy into your life? And she's like, I don't know. And it turns out she's gay. She hooks up with a coworker. The coworker then ends up acting weird. But, you know, what are you going to do? Mm. That's it. Yeah. Kind of. Kind of anticlimactic, it sounds like. Yeah. Well, ironically, yeah. lesbians, right. you know, they be coming all the time. Right. So <laughs> that's that. We got a couple segments later. We're going to play, we're going to play Smash or Pass with gay people um, because we're allies here. And we are so, we're so gay friendly that we are bullies. <laughs> we're, Yeah. Just willing to bully anybody. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> For any cause. Yeah, that, that means that I'm not a bigot. It means I see everyone as an equal. Right. Right? No um, <laughs> Three things I'm obsessed with this week. That's what I want to start off with. Number one, I've been jamming to Miami by Will Smith. 
Welcome to Miami. Bienvenido a Miami. Welcome to the bit of 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 bit I don't know how I missed that song, but it's been coming up every day for me. Really? Yeah, it's, well, now I play it on repeat. I until, know, but how did, what, did you hear it on the radio and you're like, oh my uh, God. There's a, uh, there's a rapper named Big X The Plug. Big X The <laughs> Plug. Wow. I met him on Wild and Out and he does a song that's uh, really cool. It's um, Texas and it starts. Bitch, I'm from Texas. I could play it if. The industry wasn't so freaking Bullying. freaking bully to me promoting artists. I know Big X the Plug definitely needs the shout out for me <laughs> to, to turn his career around. So he like remixed it and then uh, Miami came up on my I was like, oh fuck. If you like Texas, I was gonna like Miami. If, if, if you like Texas, you love Miami. <laughs> Another thing I'm obsessed with, this is funny. I went to Orange Theory, which everyone here knows I'm a member of. If you don't know what it is, go back five episodes. Mm-hmm. I talk about it all the freaking <laughs> I go into I go to the gym the other day. They're like, Maddie, congratulations! It's your 400th class, <laughs> which is actually I think embarrassing. Well, it shows I can stick with something, right? Hell yeah! yeah. Did you go every day? Pretty I much? go a lot. Yeah, I would say every day. I would say I do three days on, one off. Okay. I would do like, I do like two on, one off, two on, one off, one on, one off. That's like a lot. I'll do I do like four to five days a week. Wow. Yeah. And so, what do you get for 400? Classes. They posted my photo on their story. <laughs> you should get some yeah. free classes as a I result. Know. What are we doing? Or, or a freaking like t-shirt or what if weird or ass like tutu. mesh shirt. Yeah. <laughs> so that was pretty interesting. I will say I do feel stronger since going there and feeling stronger. You know, the more and more podcasts I listen to on health, strength training is mm. the way to get ahead of aging both physically, mentally, body, the way your body changes when you get older, yeah. we chalk it up to metabolism. No, Actually, it's like bone. what they're saying is metabolism doesn't really slow down until like 65 plus. Right. And we're all out here like, after 30, you're fucked. No, people stop moving and they don't lift anything. <laughs> right. So, peop- you know, what I'm hearing is before 35, if you can start getting yourself lifting, building some muscles, it doesn't have to be dumbbells, it can be band workouts. That's what I would do. It can be body, it can be planking, it can be doing bridges, even yoga is strengthening. Everyone was doing cardio and ellipticals until like four years ago. And they're saying, if you don't want your body to look like people before you, Mm -hmm. get your ass onto some dumbbells, okay? I will say, since doing like strength stuff, my body looks different. Oh. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm shallow as fuck. I'm, it does look I'm different. telling people, yeah, I feel like stronger. No, I look better. Yeah, you do. Because when I was only running, dude, my my skin was hanging on my body like a mm. fucking coat rack because it was all just cardio. So your fucking yeah. shit just flattens. Right. And now I feel like stronger. Yeah. It's pretty interesting. Okay, my third thing that I'm obsessed with is why didn't anyone tell me you can get weed delivered in New York City? <laughs> and this happened to me by chance. You know, the feds are cracking down on all these stores. If you don't live in New York City, what's happening in New York City right now is on every freaking corner, there's a Zooties, a Goodies, a Green Tea coffee shop. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> my I favorite. Love that. By me, there's high class convenience mm-hmm. and Smoke Kings. LOL. Mm-hmm. I love the puns. I they Me were too. so cute. There's so many. And I go out to buy my usual $80 freaking jar of pre-rolls because that's how expensive these places are. Yeah. Both my weed stores slash vape stores are closed, shuttered by me. Mm-hmm. One of them had a notice on it that says, been shut down by the state of New York. I'm like, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. <gasps> I need my fix. I need my fix. I'm like, weed, who has weed? You want to sell it? I'm like, I'll suck you off for a hit. <laughs> I, and then I forgot, someone had told me I just ordered... Uh, edibles like Caminos online and they delivered it to me. So I'm like, I Google, we deliver in New York City. First thing that comes up, green therapy, New York City. And my ass gets, for the first time in my life, a whole ass ounce. Was there a minimum? No. Okay. No. That's awesome. No, for me, mentally. (laughs) I think mentally I was like, well, if I'm going to get it delivered. I don't know why my ass is so like... 
if I like if I'm getting like if I'm ordering on Amazon and I'm getting s- seltzer, mm-hmm. I'm like I'm getting it delivered. Let's get sixty cases. Yeah, you have to make it work. Yeah, I know. So I have like so much. I for a while I had like Pellegrino this high in my kitchen. <laughs> the driver's like, why? <laughs> yeah, it's like, is this a delivery for a freaking WeWork? <laughs> and so I ordered a freaking ounce. And I know I seem like a pretty big pothead, but I usually do pre rolls this big, and I'll buy them like every three days or a weed pen. But I was like, let's get some fucking greenery, biatch. Mm-hmm. And I've also been tired of pre rolls because last time I talked about Bobby Beansack giving me fresh of his stuff. Pre rolls, I feel like they dry out quickly. Mm. And I also think these stores that are opening up in New York City are not really. Regulated. I don't know what's going on there. Yeah. So I was like, let me get some freaking greenery from a place that's not shut down. Mm-hmm. I got an ounce of weed and it. <laughs> on the website you don't realize how much an ounce is yeah it's, it's a, a lot it was big Ziploc bag this big guy came in in a freaking like 2003 Lexus old ass <laughs> 2003 with freaking you know steering wheel had like a crumb. cheetah <laughs> <laughs> hey freaking mint, uh, dream catcher hanging off the oh, rear window nice. I was like hey what's up he handed me the biggest bag of weed. And now I sit home and I just hold it against my body. I'm like, my weed, my weed. It's like, so cute. You know how cool it is to have an ounce at home? Yeah. It feels Sick as fuck. It sounds and like- I bought a grinder first time in my life. Can you believe that? You know how cool I feel like- Oh, yeah. It's like shaking. Yeah, yeah. Crushing like, pepper. Oh my God. Fresh pepper. Oh my, uh, yeah, so I told him like- <laughs> That's my, those are my three obsessions. Miami by Will Smith, 400 classes at Orange Theory, and an ounce of weed at home. What more could a girl want? Um, honorable mention, Gargoyle, my cat, <laughs> is really, I woke up today and she was, I, I was like lying like this and she was like half on me. Wow. Like we were like napping together. So cute. cute. You know how awesome it is for your self-esteem to have like, a cat laying on you when you wake up. So You're like, well, at least someone likes me. It really is a self-esteem booster. Yeah. And she has no idea that I'm a shithead. Right. She thinks I'm awesome. Yeah. I can be like, hey, what's up, bitch? Lick my clit. <laughs> and she's like, I love you. <laughs> it's like my dog, too. She has no idea that everyone hates me and, mm-hmm. and that people call me annoying on the internet mm-hmm. and send me messages that say I want to cream pie your white ass. Mm-hmm. She has no idea. No, All she knows is that I have tuna that I fill her water fountain and that I have a feather on a string Mm -hmm. and that my bed is comfy as fuck and she knows that I like to sleep so her and I just all day just lay and get up yawn look at each other (laughs) go back to bed Uh I was tired this week Monday Tuesday I think it's because I was in Fort Wayne, Indiana, which oh. technically is close to New York City, but it's such a small city that you have to do connecting flights. Oh, I... So I had to do, which is so exhausting. Mm-hmm. Everyone knows connecting flight days are so exhausting. Your feet are pounding. And all I did was spend two days in Fort Wayne, but all those flights, I was exhausted Monday, Tuesday. I want to tell you guys a funny thing that happened to me in Fort Wayne. I've been on the road touring. I go out every weekend. Caroline's come with me to multiple. She knows it's a freaking grind. She knows basically half my week is living in my apartment. And the other half, I'm just living in a random hotel. Mm -hmm. Like when I check into hotels and other guests are there, I'm like, oh, (laughs) oh, what are you guys doing here? And basically the end of every week I'm posted up in an apartment. I get food delivered to hotels. Oh, I've had Amazon packages delivered. Really? I, yeah, LOL. You just yep. put that down as like a permanent address. The other day I got to my hotel, my Taco Bell got there before me. Oh, That's embarrassing. That's, That's embarrassing awesome. for what I'm about to tell about my weekend. So I go to Fort Wayne, Indiana. And Fort Wayne is the second biggest city in Indiana after Indianapolis. And that's how you know Indiana is kind of not really much to offer because Fort Wayne is small as fuck. Mm. You're telling me this is the second biggest city in the state and it's empty? Don't get me wrong. I had a fun time. You know, my Uber driver on the way to for, to my hotel was saying, oh, I do all sorts of activities. I, I'm actually a volunteer. I save birds. I get a text to my phone and I go find a bird. And actually one of the birds that I found, a red-tailed hawk, is now in the, in the Fort Wayne Zoo. Great. Right. Yeah. The bird's yeah. like, all right. People are like, there's a lot to do in Indiana. <laughs> yeah, if you're a fucking loser. <laughs> okay. That's what people always say. No, there's a lot to do. Yeah, you can pray mm-hmm. and you can rescue birds. Right. So uh, 
this place, Fort Wayne is, is teeny tiny, but I always have a good time at Summit City Comedy Club. Now, when I go to smaller cities, such as Indianapolis, I stayed in a Westin. Nice. And in Fort Wayne, I stayed in the Bradley, which is a hotel under the company of Vera Bradley. And if you're a male mm-hmm. follower and you don't know what Vera Bradley is, Michael, you can pull up the design. Mm-hmm. It's a, f- we've all seen... A mom Weekend bags. Yes. We've seen wall. I had a wallet of your Bradley wallet. wallet. It and was like brown t- and blue. A tiny pink purse yeah. that got uh, dirty. Yeah. Really it got fast. dirty. Like nasty brown stains on all of them. <laughs> like on the corners. Like how did that happen? It's cloth. It's cloth. Uh, there was a Vera Bradley boutique in my hometown, Clarence Center. Oh, really? Ugh. Not for me at all. But you know that this hotel in Fort Wayne was nice. Now that's mm. the perk of going to small towns. They'll put you up in the best hotel because the best hotel in a small town is still like. 180 bucks a night yeah. versus in New York city, that kind of hotel would be freaking 600. Yeah. So they put me up. So I check in at the Bradley, my taco bell already arrived. I'm like, Oh, that's for my sister. <laughs> She's joining me later. I didn't know. It was a weighted She's bag too. The bag had some weight to it. I felt like I had put my cat in there. Yum. And so this is what happened. I'm, I'm checking in at this hotel. It's so nice. I've been there before. It's one of those where the restaurant in the hotel is actually good. Okay. Actually good. People actually yeah. go there. They tell me we don't have phones in the room. We actually have a text service. So if you have any issues, you want your new towels, you want new toothpaste, blah, 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 just text us and we'll come to you. Mm -hmm. I'm like, (laughs) (laughs) this is the first weekend, never have I ever in my life clogged a toilet in a hotel and lo and behold, Guess what this bitch does? Now, I would (laughs) like to say something before you guys come to the conclusion that Maddie's a nasty ass shit. It was the toilet paper, okay? You know what happens at the Bradley? It's the thick kind, because it's the Bradley. Mm -hmm. And you know what, bitch? It's made out of the freaking bags. They're freaking nasty paisley bags. So, yeah, (laughs) your bitch. And it's one of those where the, you know that it's like, it doesn't feel like a strong pole. Mm. Sometimes in the fancier hotels, like they don't do like the, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a Holiday yeah, yeah. Inn will have that. Yeah. <laughs> but the nicer Vera, it's just like, the, even the handle feels it's flimsy. Like, uh, yeah, it's like, uh, I feel like your Hamptons shape. house has a little bit of that oh, similar. Oh yeah, it's always fucking clogging. Similar, yeah. Because it's old. Yeah. So you combine yeah. that with this th- toilet paper this thick. <laughs> and mind you, I don't fly, I don't, I don't end my pooping <laughs> until I've wiped 10 times and yeah. it comes clean. Yeah, same. I'm coming clean. Mm. So there was a shit ton of toilet paper and it was all globbed up. Mm. Really no shit. Mm-hmm. It, was, it was all toilet paper. Yeah. There was, but it was yeah, mostly yeah, toilet paper. Yeah. So my dumb ass goes, I'm like, first I say, I'm just going to let it sit. Sometimes like the toilet paper can like. Let it, um, you let it like let it soak. Yeah, you let it, and it. <laughs> It's like a dish in erodes the sink. In, yeah, it erodes in there. I'm like, Ew. let me let it erode. Flush again, 15 minutes. Nope, still. <laughs> Start stinking. It, it would do the rise and then fall. I'm like, okay, good to know. Uh-huh. So I'm like, well, I can't do this. It's 2 p.m. on Friday and I can't just like, what if I had to shit again? That's a nightmare. What if I had to, I don't like peeing on pee that's already there. Mm-hmm. I'm not an animal. I got to tell them. So I text this stupid number and say, hi, I'm in room 208. I think there's something wrong with the toilet. I'm a lady, I'm not gonna say I'm like that. <laughs> I said, I think there might be something wrong with the toilet. AKA, just come fix it. Yeah. Just come fix it. Right. It's only- I dodge out of the hotel. I go through the back. I actually end up in like the staff kitchens because I go through the back. So I wouldn't have, because by the way, when I check into this hotel, the guy there was like, hey, remember us? I'm like, oh, small Because I had been there. Yeah. (laughs) I went there like a year ago. So now I'm the shit bitch in 208. (laughs) And I text that and I go to, I go for a walk. I'm like walking around Fort Wayne to give them, I give them two hours. I take a walk. I go buy our friend a birthday present. Mm -hmm. I check out the river. I get another coffee. I do all this shit. I'm like, oh, look at this restaurant. Look at the river. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a literal fort. Mm -hmm. I sunburned by the time I get back. I had a smoothie too. I did a whole shebangy, whole shebangy. Come back two hours later, toilet still. Uh, Uh, They have one person working there? Yep. So then I'm like, I have to piss. I have to piss so bad. I'm not, I refuse to piss on other piss or shit. Really? Yeah. Why? Because what do you have to close it? Then he's 
pay fresh. Well then, but then you, oh, okay, okay. I feel like it's rude. Yeah, maybe. But it's also rude of them to. Yeah. Anyway, I'm getting a ride to the club, the comedy club in 45 minutes. I'm like, I'll just hold it, shower, mm. get ready, go. On my way to the club, I say, following up, can someone check in on this? And they text back, what exactly is wrong with the toilet? Uh, what the fuck okay. do you think? Yeah. That only, toilets only have one problem. What the fuck do you think? And there's only one problem. What the fuck do you think? What the fuck do you think? Good question. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on. What was do it a big pill? And I was like... <laughs> And that silence is yeah. everything. <laughs> I left them on for, I was panicking. I was like, I was going to text them and be like, I'm not sure I wasn't there all day. Um, my boyfriend is in there and I, he just texted me that it's broken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like my sister told me that it might be. I, was, I just texted my sister. I was like, you're going under the bus for this, by the way. Cause I came and then, and so I was like, I'm going to text them right before I go on stage for an hour. So I don't even have to think. And then, yeah. and then I get off stage. I forgot to text them. Oh no. So then I just texted clogged. <laughs> Clog toilet. <laughs> they immediately text back, no problem, we'll take care of it. Uh, what do you think is wrong? Yeah. Bring a plunger up. Also, hotels don't have plungers, which I think is rude. That is, I I've never seen a hotel with a plunger in it. Same. same. Which maybe it's like a health issue. I don't know. I don't you can, know. You can put it in like the case. It should be, yeah. It and should like be store in, it, like, like with in a plastic wherever bag. Wherever the freaking blow dryer is, <laughs> wherever the net, wherever the iron is, mm -hmm. it should be ironing board, plunger, right. safe. <laughs> a whole like toolbox. Fix your own damn. Yeah. <laughs> Remember we were you with me and We in, were in freaking DC where the shower like was not working. And then the guy comes in and is like, eee! Yeah. And it turned like, on. <laughs> So that was, was like, my, that was my Fort Wayne story. Oh my God. <laughs> my face was red. And then I had to spend the whole Saturday going in and out of the Bradley. Like, the guy's like, us. hey, hey, how was that Taco Bell? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I have normal bowel movements. <laughs> Freak. <sighs> anyway. I've been there. So that's a story from the road. Mm. New segment, story from the road. Mm. Summer bucket list check in. Couple episodes, I announced I have a summer bucket list. I have not... Fulfilled any of them. <laughs> this weekend I was in Fort Wayne. On my summer bucket list is to eat a hot dog. Okay. But the hot dog that I had in Fort Wayne does not fulfill what I'm trying to have. Why? I went to a place in Fort Wayne called Coney Island Hot Dogs. Yeah. I'm like, ballsy. We're in Indiana. Yeah. <laughs> we're in Indiana. And th I guess this place, and I don't know, you could look it up, if Coney Island hot dogs are like this or if it's just this place that's called that, but it's the steamed bun. Have you ever had that? Oh, a hot dog on a steamed bun? No. And it was oh, more yeah. like, is that true? Is that is that yeah, what look, it is? Well, Coney Island hot dog, it immediately populated Fort Wayne. Okay. And I'm looking up the buns and they have like brown spots on them. I don't know. So this kind of hot dog, it's it was very cool. It's, it's this place open in freaking like 19 freaking 17 or something oh. in Fort Wayne. They had hot dogs for like a dollar 25, mm -hmm. cheeseburgers 275, nice. chili, side of bean, very bare bones menu. So I it was a cool place to go in. You went in it was like felt like a place from like a true crime thing and like a Ted Bundy, mm. the Ted Bundy files, you know. I sat at the countertop, I love it, mm -hmm. and I got the hot dog and the chili, and the chili wasn't, it was more like a soup, and then they do the steamed hot dog us and steamed bun with chili, mustard, and onions on it. I'm looking for just a grilled hot dog with ketchup and mustard and relish. Yeah. Do you like sauerkraut? I do like sauerkraut. Yeah. I do like sauerkraut. I'll do a sauerkraut. I do like sauerkraut. This, I didn't like their chili at this place. I don't like and chili so, cheese dogs. Yeah. I get like the fucking meat sweats. But this chili was like really, um, there was no chunk. You know how a chili dog oh, is like chunk? It was like smooth. Yeah, it was like a smooth. It was like, you know when you have lentil soup and then it comes and it's kind of more pureed? Yeah. That's what this chili was like. And that with Ew. the dog, I was just, I couldn't finish it. It looks like shit. And water. you know, I finished up. I couldn't yeah. finish it. Wow. I left half the hot dog, ate some soup and got a piece of pie to go to be nice. Because okay. my whole thing came out to like $12. Right. 
the pie was good. I got a strawberry rhubarb pie, which, you know, I'll retroactively add to my bucket list because I do love a strawberry rhubarb pie. I I think it's like a great flavor that I always forget about. And it was good. So I'll give them that. But it's just, it was just a, maybe, I asked an Uber driver and I was like, yeah, I don't think the Coney Island dogs were for me. And he's like, yeah, I mean, it's more of a volume over over flavor for me too. Hey, I take my kid every year. I go once a year to Coney Island hot dog. We do the light show at the, uh, at the zoo where you can drive around and see the Christmas lights. So my son and I, we go get our Coney Island hot dogs, stuff our face, go see the Christmas lights. That way I only have to go to Coney Island dogs once a year. <laughs> oh, thank you. I'm looking at pictures now. Mm-hmm. It kind of, the, the chili looks like diarrhea. Yeah. Like a, yeah. like liquid diarrhea. And it wasn't, um, <laughs> it had a little bit of a um, more sweet. Okay. Um, I felt like there was brown sugar in it well, maybe. good. No, uh, it was, or, much, there was a maybe. weird spice mix that was, um, it wasn't appealing to me. Was, it was there like curry powder or something? Mm, I don't think so. Interesting. I, th- I can't even, you'll have to go. You'll have to come with me next time to try Coney Island hot dogs. But it was very it. old school and, and funny. Mm. It was old school and funny. They had root beer and I got a diet root beer because nice. you know I'm trying not to eat sugar. Wait, you're cutting out sugar? Yeah. Totally? Well, I'm tr- I just try not to. I'm like, okay. Rupard. Okay, call out. <laughs> okay, call out. But like what kind, like certain kinds of sugar? Yeah, like, like I alcohol? Like I won't drink, I never drink soda. Yeah. Like I'll never drink yeah, soda. Yeah, yeah. I'll have a root beer float, but I won't have just right, a root beer. Right, right. Because I have also have an eating disorder. Do you want to talk about that too? Or do you want to, you don't have well. pie, but you want to have soda? I'm yeah. So- <laughs> what do you want from me? I also drink Diet Coke while That's shoving it. my face with mini Oreos. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. Next on the agenda, I read a few books recently. I haven't caught you guys up with this. How do you guys like this for segments? <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, suck my fucking dick. Am I bombing or are we having a no, good time? I think we're having a great time, right? So since I was last uh, doing a book review, you know, I, re- I finished The Green Mile, which is a Stephen King book. I've never seen the movie. I plan on watching the movie. Very old, uh, but I, was, I watched the preview and it looks exactly how I was picturing it in my head, which mm. isn't that hard. It's just a <laughs> jail in 1932 and a freaking electric chair and a big black guy. So The Green Mile, after that, I was like, let me see like what Stephen King's others, and I never watched Carrie. Mm. So I read Carrie. It was interesting, you know, never... Uh, I never realized how Stephen Stephen King is very into the magical mystical. I'll have to read it. I don't know oh, if that's yeah. magical mystical too, but it's also a thousand pages, so I have to take a break from S. King for a while. Oh my God. But he's um, more into, you know, telekinesis, moving stuff, powerful. Mm-hmm. Carrie was moving stuff around and, you know, the prom. Oh, yeah. She made all the bunch of people died and yeah. lit the whole town on fire. <laughs> Which doesn't scare me, but like you said, it may be more scary if you watch it. Right. When you're reading it, you're just like, oh, oh yeah, I can see how that she's happens. She's frustrated. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, like yeah, she's like really this, mad. The book <laughs> opens with girls throwing tampons and pads at her because right. she gets her period in the school shower, and the girls throw and to her gym teacher, she's like, "What's happening to me?" And the gym teacher's like, "Well, I'll be damned. This girl doesn't know that she's about to go through her menstrual cycle." Ah. Uh. You think that Because their mom was super Christian. Oh, uh, okay. I was like, all right. How does Stephen King know, mm-hmm. huh? <laughs> Just kidding. Stephen King was obsessed with like... Periods? Yeah. Oh. Well, in this book specifically. Right. Green Mile didn't have men- any mention of it, but Green Mile had mentions of urinary tract infections in men. Really? So I'll have to read another one to see see if Misery was more locking a man up. I have to watch that. And Yeah, Kathy Bates. Yeah. Pretty creepy. So my review of Carrie, uh, pretty fun. Movie's probably better. Green Mile, eh, a little long for me. Mm. I really don't like male writers. I know that's so rude. Mm, yeah. They always describe breasts and stuff. Then the next book I read was uh, a book called Good Material. You can pull up the cover. And that was a recent write by a Dolly? writer called Dolly, Adder- Alder- Dolly Alderton. Ad- Alderton. She's Irish, I think. Or no, oh, no, maybe British. Bright cover. And she wrote a book called Good Material. And it was about a male stand-up, a fishing book, about a, a, a couple who are going through a breakup. And the first 300 to 400 pages are from the guy's perspective. And the guy is a male comedian named Andy. 
and we get to hear all of his neuroses as he goes through his breakup with Jen. Jen is 35 years old. They're both 35. He's going through all this stuff. Why should you break up with me? Ah, back and forth. She talks about them getting together to break their bank account up and oh um, his hookups after then and his trials and tribulation and ups and downs okay. of post breakup. <laughs> and then I know he, he joins a gym, he gets a trainer, <laughs> he goes through all this stuff, gets obsessed with eating no carbs. All his friends are like, you look weird, dude. <laughs> Finally, his friend announces that he's going through a breakup. So now he's like, oh, I can mentor him. And that's when he... And then the last 40 pages compared to 400 are the girl's perspective. Really? And it's so much more logical and obvious. <laughs> and her it. being like, it wasn't going to match up. Yeah. And also, what really didn't have to do with him. <laughs> I don't know if I want kids and I kind of want to be alone. <laughs> and he didn't like listen to any of it. He just babbles yeah. for 400 pages. He was, and and like, 400 pages about, like, how could you leave me? <laughs> Everything was perfect. Freaking Jen. Freaking Jen. <laughs> blocking her on Instagram all this She's stuff like, running into her with another guy and going crazy about <laughs> this new guy and then hers was just like over time I realized like we were growing apart we wanted different things and he stopped listening to me <laughs> Yeah, dude, because he's, like, neurotic. And she was like, and of course, I suffered for months after that, but no one cares. Nobody cares. No one cares. You just villainized me. Right. Yeah. Make it about you. You're going to mentor other people as if they asked. Sorry, that was mean. No, it's, yeah. (laughs) I'm like... I know boys too are real. sensitive. Too real. Yeah. Too real, especially the comedian part too. Yeah. And part of her thing said, and I've also come to the re- face the reality that I... Um, I really like him, but I would never be able to continue dating someone who performs for a living because everything is about them. Yeah. Um, everything comes down to that. The neuroticisms that he has and his up down and his seeking validation through ways through which I could never understand would never lead to a sustainable lifestyle for me. Oh, something to think about. Yeah. I wonder if it's vice versa for like like female performers. I feel like female performers can have like normal lives. (laughs) I don't know. (laughs) That's a male comedian when he has like one bad set. Okay. And this is my advice to anyone who wants to date any comedian in general. Run. (laughs) Because you're about to go through the whole rigmarole. And it's not just male. It's every, it's all comedians. But, you know, male comedians are the kinds who will be like, I just like, (laughs) thought I would be famous by now. They do one open mic. (laughs) They're like, they're like, I thought I would be just bigger by now. And you're just lying in bed next to him like. (laughs) (laughs) He's like, I really just. That felt like I deserve better from my agent, my manager, everyone around me. No one in comedy respects me. No one watches my Instagram. <laughs> and at the end of the day, <laughs> I get zero thanks. Wait a minute. Well, I guess that got a laugh. <laughs> Write that down. <laughs> That's what you should hear. If you're on Hinge and a guy says, uh, and a guy has a picture of himself on stage, this is what you should hear. <laughs> yeah. You've dated a male comedian. Yes. Sorry. No, I, but I guess it's. <laughs> <laughs> and his name was. <laughs> yeah, but that was, I didn't, luckily I didn't meet yeah. Him on an app. Some of them are just wackadoos. On, yeah, I think, yeah. you know, people are just wackadoo also in general. You'll meet a cuckoo banana. I just think stand up and comedy is an art form where your business is your name, is you, is your personality. Yeah. And a lot of people can get caught up in the whole, you know, <laughs> of it all. And at the end of the day, we are all just, <laughs> it's clown. Yeah. It's clown stuff. Yeah. And it's all bad behavior when I'm just trying to get my <laughs> money cash <laughs> how good am I with the soundboard I know why didn't we I don't know why I didn't like realize all good. you can just get an app that probably does it I Dude. was like tinkering with this soundboard like it was we are all okay, growing how dare you <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> talk about yourself like that. Okay? Let's move on to our next segment. Okay. Hey, oh, 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 Couple things going on and on in the news. Couple things going on in the news. Couple things going on the news. Happy Pride. The Pope said the word F-A-G-G-O-T-N-E-S-S this week. Mm-hmm. He said there's a lot of f***ness in the... <laughs> <laughs> What was the exact quote, Caroline? You can say it, not me. Uh, There was a lot of... F***ness? Yeah. In the... Uh, In the Catholic... In the Vatican. Regarding what? what, People want to be gay or gay, gay... Gay people wanting to be priests, or what is he saying? He said, and it was better that young men with a homosexual tendency not be allowed to enter the seminary. But the word... Do you have homosexual tendencies? (laughs) (laughs) But the word in Italian is frociagine? Frociagine. Oh, he said it in Italian. Yeah. Oh, and we translated it to f- ness. Yeah. Okay, got yeah. it. So, but in Italian, si- can you say it out loud? And can you show me the word? Wait, let me see if I can. Fiagocionane. Yeah, it's like pasta faglioli. <laughs> pasta faglioni. Gay guy, you ola. <laughs> Gay guy, butt sucker, you ola. Cock sucking, you ola. Bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Do it again. Fraciazine. Fraciazine. So the Pope see. said, Este un muchia de fraciazine, ye. <laughs> in su oh, Vatican. No? In, uh, okay, and he's saying, <laughs> If you are a young, young, young lad and you think about six with men and dicks and bowls and taints, then maybe the priesthood isn't for you. Here's what I have to say. Maybe you should allow anyone who wants to be a priest to be a priest. Because I go to your masses and they are less full than my shows in Bridgeport, Connecticut (laughs) on a Saturday. Okay? (laughs) Empty. Yeah. When I go to Catholic mass, which is once every two years when I feel like I need to find myself and then I go and I'm like. (sighs) I only go when I have to. I go, oh wait, there's a reason I didn't come back. Mm -hmm. Last time I tried to go to church, I went in Astoria, LOL. I think I was just craving the smells and the routine. Yeah. First, first one way to describe it, boring. Number two, I am sitting in church. I have my whole pew to myself. When I was in middle school, that shit was full as fuck, yeah. okay? Now I got the whole pew to myself. I can stretch out, lie down like I'm in the shrink. <laughs> and during the sermon, if you've never been to Catholic church, it's a full hour. <laughs> It's not even that long, and, but no. But every I minute goes in, by so When slowly. I was thirteen, I'll be like, "Oh my god!" You get to the Eucharist. So hungry. Yeah, the Eucharist. I love the Eucharist. So <laughs> hold on one t- one second. Let me. Uh, I got to take a hit of my weed pen. One second. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm going to do one more. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, yeah. Oh, you want some? (laughs) Why not? But this is a vape. It's going to kill me. Oh, come on. But also, this one's called cockroach dancing. I did. I found a little roach, roach, uh, roach, uh, like Like an actual dead one in my place. Big or small? Oh, uh, regular, like okay. a regular, right. regular. I was like, Middle I think Gargi, age. I think Gargoyle killed it. Really? Yeah. And you know what? I do be seeing her in the corner lately, just like looking at something. I think there's little shades floating yeah, like under the- Yeah, but that's good. She's like pest I know. control. Yeah. Well, hey! Sorry. That's okay. why bodegas have them and um, basements and Yeah, buildings. exactly. She'd be doing her job. Yeah. Okay, so the Pope's saying this. So I went to the church and during the freaking, you know, they do the gospel, they do the blah, blah, blah. Then the Pope, or, <laughs> then the priest gets to go up and do his little freaking set. His set. His set. <laughs> set in the back, list. they're like five minutes. <laughs> he does his set. He's like, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I look Thank me. you guys for having me at the Tonight Show <laughs> here at St. Francis of Assisi. <laughs> so this motherfucker goes on and he's all talking about about people who don't have a God and he keeps saying there's fatherless people now in the gospel today Jesus said to his apostles you will come across many people who are fatherless 
What he meant wasn't having an actual father. I was born by a father and a mother. You have a father. We all have a father. What we're talking about here is God. God is our father in heaven. Walking around, you will see a lot of fatherless people, orphans. They do not have a guiding (laughs) fatherhood. I walk around Astoria. I smell marijuana. (laughs) Marijuana to me indicates fatherless orphans. I'm like, well, I'm out. You had one chance. Did I already say this on the podcast or no? I I think it was. I think it was the a lost episode. Okay, all right. right. (laughs) And he's yeah. It goes on about. I'm like, fuck you, bitch. Yeah, yeah. You had one chance to get me back. You. I was like, maybe the churches are turned around post kid fucking. Blah blah blah. No, you go in and you shame the only thing I enjoy doing. Suck my dick, bitch. Suck my freaking dick. And now you're saying the gays can't? No, good luck. But also, didn't the Pope already like apologize for saying something yeah he did a month ago he, he pulls said something shit again and then he pulls so he pulls this shit so and he senile. says no gay people allowed and no faggotness so yeah, yeah. I just, it's a funny word yeah it really is at the end of the day oh my god did i i told you when i was in england yeah um we stopped to get food somewhere oh, by the way caroline just came back from a trip to england Hi. as you guys heard i know it's freaking good to be i'm just i'm still in jet lag um, they Sorry. had a dish called like faggots and oh yeah you sent that to me and it, I was like what the fuck is that faggots and peas it's like some kind of like meat mixture interesting like um, when you go to like a Middle Eastern place they have that ki- kibbe or something yeah you ever had that kibbe k-i-b-b-e-h yeah 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 a meat mixture of sorts it consists of minced pork liver wrapped in bacon with onion and breadcrumbs Often the faggot is cooked in a crock with gravy and served with peas and mashed potatoes. Interesting. Yeah, I was like, no, I'll just, have a, I'll just have a Horlicks. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. It's Horlicker. probably good. It's probably yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's probably good. I, I, I think um, like um, um, Indian sh- food in England is bussing. Yeah, we had some. It was really good, yeah. actually. It was uh, especially good. like the smaller places too. Yeah. <sighs> we went to this place that was like upstairs yeah. and I was like, you know, it's good. They have a lot of, they have good, they have good food in London. Mm-hmm. Um, no, we didn't have a bad meal. Yeah. I, I like London. I like how it's, um, it feels, it's so vast. It feels like such a, so Farming. bustling, but also people are enjoying the public offerings of activities yeah. in a way that I don't see in New York anymore. Right. Like it'll be like City Bank presents movies in the field at Bryan Park and you get there and it's like so crowded. Right. And it's a lot of tour. Like everything's like, I would never go Single there. Single people. And I would like, never go there. I yeah. would never go to the Smorgasburg. I would never go to all those places. But in London, it's like, yeah, of course we'll go to check out the farmer's market on Trafalgar Square. And, <laughs> and we don't do that because it's so, ugh. Yeah. everything's like, like, like Very Whole Foods presents, Amazon presents yeah. concerts in Union Square, and you would never go. And that's how I feel it. Well, now. and it's like all these pop ups. You wouldn't like Charlie XCX did a pop up like in Brooklyn. Like I would never go to those kind of places. Yeah, yeah. And you know, it's that kind of like the Dua Lipa thing I went to. Oh yeah. So Pope, you know, get your fucking be like American politicians. If you have gays on your side, you things will turn around. Yep. Two thousand eight on, things exploded for the gays mm. and gays are a big demo okay Mm -hmm. if you want funding you know who's rich gay people yeah they're rich as fuck there's a lot of rich gay people yeah there are in power speaking of gay people joey chestnut sucking on hot dogs (laughs) i don't think he's gay but i used to have a joke in my stand-up where i say i fucked so many dudes in my 20s it looked like a hot dog eating competition then it started getting more of a groan but maybe i'll put it back in Wow. Oh, maybe I'll say Joey Chestnut because I used to be like Kobayashi, <laughs> but I'll say Joey Chestnut. So Joey Chestnut, historic hot dog eating, com- historic hot dog eating champion, right? Mm-hmm. He probably had how many do you think at a time? Over a hundred, right? Hey. He did he huge pile. He got oh. a big pile in front of him. Oh. That's how many hot dogs I want. I know. And I feel like I could make a dent. Do you think when he's at a barbecue, they're like hot dog? He's like, Ugh. yeah. He's like, don't say the word. Yeah. Or he can only eat them with water. They're yeah. like, Joey. Joey, are you okay? Joey, hot dog. He's like, yeah, I'll take 20. <laughs> <laughs> um, so he is banned yeah. from competitive eating because why? He got backed by a vegan company. Yeah. It said he, he inked a deal with a company that makes plant-based Franks. And I guess, um, you know, 
the major league eating is um, a rival. I don't know. Because maybe they're funded by beef or something? I would assume. I mean... Yeah, that would make sense. I don't see... And I actually think, you know, if he wanted to do a competitive eating contest with the plant-based Franks, it would slow him down because mm. it's that kind of... Yeah. Oh, it sits in there, that kind I, of tofurkey type of stuff. I tried to be vegan and my mom made me tofurkey for Thanksgiving and you don't need a knife. That shit just mm. slices like spam just a freaking piece of butter you yeah. know and I feel like those tofu dogs I used to eat tofu dogs in a whole wheat wrap with fake cheese on top of it yeah. and I actually have kind of Stockholm syndrome to it now yeah. I like kind of crave it sometimes that processed meat yeah that I would eat um but I think Joey Chestnut should be allowed I think that is disrespectful yeah it's if I eating. got sponsored by freaking hmm, well I don't really have anything going for me What's your favorite hot dog? If, if I if I went on a TV show and Wild and Out said I couldn't come back, I would say, "Ouch, mm. ouchy, ouchy." Yeah. Or I know. is he gonna? Or well, if a type if I got sponsored by a type of weed and and then another type of I don't know I don't know I don't have any I don't have anything going for me. It sounds so. like big hot dogs or it sounds like big hot dogs or it sounds like the footlongs are they're on attack becoming two foot long yeah too long yeah sounds like the foot longs are becoming <laughs> <laughs> too long for their buns <laughs> it sounds like they're they're becoming too long for their buns <laughs> <laughs> oscar meyer <laughs> get him on the line <laughs> Well, speaking of people who I think might be getting disrespected, Caitlin Clark. Oh, yeah. Who I, her and I, I think are similar. Mm -hmm. You know, white girl in a, on a black show. I consider the <laughs> WNBA to be a black TV show. Why you like <laughs> yeah. You know what's funny about women's sports? People are just realizing like the athletes are hot. Mm. Everyone's been like, whoa, women's sports. And now everyone's obsessed with the female basketball players. Mm -hmm. They're hot. And it's fun to watch. Mm -hmm. Duh. Men are like, oh, wait. You a girl? Yeah. Like in Harry Potter when Hermione dresses up for the ball <laughs> and Ron's like, Hermione, you could go with me. You're a girl. You've got I'll have you know I'm already going. Somebody already asked me. <laughs> Emma Watson. Somebody already asked me. And it's crumb. Crumb. Caitlin Clark did not get asked to be on the Olympic USA team women's basketball, which... I don't know what goes on behind closed doors, so I'm not even going to talk like an expert. But from the outside, I don't know. Why wouldn't you put your person who has made this league grow by hundreds of percentages since joining mm -hmm. and has put eyes on women's college basketball mm -hmm. and women's college sports and college sports and the WNBA? Yeah. And played, was scheduled to play in an arena for 4,000 people. I don't remember where. I'm stupid. I smoked too much weed. And it was, then they had to move to a 14,000 person arena mm. all to see her play. Right. And she's coming up against big guns and still holding her own, shooting, shooting threes, blah, blah, blah. Do I only watch the highlights? Yes, I don't watch full <laughs> games. But why wouldn't you put her on right. the team? And the it's Olympics unclear. reasoning was we were afraid of her millions of fans watching this game and her only being in for a couple minutes at a time. Oh, Really? But it's still good for... It's yeah. still eyes on the fucking Olympics. Yeah. Okay, so I, I feel like Olympics viewership has been going and down Caroline, anyway. I told her off stage, off camera, and she goes, well, she can go next year. She has to wait four years. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> not to throw you under the bus there. Yeah. I know. Not to th <laughs> but What's no, because uh, it's like, not that she'll age insanely. She's probably like 22, 23. Right. But it's like, throw her in. I know. She's the reason all eyes are on yeah. this team. Yeah, that's lame. Like, it's like women's soccer, you would put the best... Maybe New someone person was out on? to get her. I know. Someone had a Well, you'll see it. on the court, they be throwing fucking yeah, booms yeah, yeah. at her, even yeah. when the, she doesn't have the ball, knocking her over. Sus. Apparently, she was quoted saying to her coach, they they uh, they they awoke a monster by doing that. Wow. Oh, well, me not dick. getting me not getting anything. <laughs> right. <laughs> and then the monster continues to stay under the bed. <laughs> I get inspired when I get rejected. I get inspired for one hour, and then I'm like, well. Oh, 
that was tiring. <laughs> it is tiring. That's the thing. It's so emotionally I'm draining. like, you won't see the end of me. <laughs> Three years later, they're like, whatever happened to Maddie Smith? I'm like, like, a little nightcap. Oh, wait, maybe you saw the end of me. <laughs> Good night, moon. So something to think about. Something to think yeah. about. You know, Politics. I'm on the side of she should have been in, but. Yeah. Maybe I would have watched hey, the Olympics then. Hey, I'm the white girl on a TV show and. For offshoots from that TV show, I don't get booked. Mm -hmm. I don't get booked on blah, 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 and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to name names, but, you know. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say I <laughs> am not hearing any opportunities at my door. <laughs> Inbox oh has God. tumbleweed floating through it. And I continue to <laughs> on Amazon.com. <laughs> Money's going out. Nothing's coming in. So if you guys want to, you know, send me a Venmo. <laughs> got it. All right. Another topic I wanted to talk about. Let us know if you enjoy these news topics, you guys. Mm -hmm. We're getting into some more structured stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's my own soundboard. <laughs> Seth Meyers is cutting his live band. Yeah. Wow. Um, that sucks, dude. I didn't realize it was Fred Armisen's like band. I didn't either. But then he would pop in. They were saying less and less. Yeah. Well, that sucks boy. because more people should watch us. We have a live band. Mm -hmm. Hey, let's give a shout out to our live band. <laughs> Rock on, you guys. <laughs> nice. Clap it up, clap it up, clap it up, clap it up, clap it up. Clap it up for Madhouse, the Madhouse Mad Hatters. Clap it, freaking. I said clap it. I said, I said, I said clap. Okay, I can't do a soundboard Wait. if I can't fucking find the sounds. Uh, I added too many sounds to my favorites. Now I can't find them. Caroline, do you have a clapping? Do you have a clapping? Do you have a, someone give me a clapping? Someone give me a clapping. Someone give me a clapping. Someone give me a clapping. <laughs> Give it up for our live band. <laughs> this was uh, this was my shit when I clogged the toilet this weekend. <laughs> okay, ready? I'm gonna caption some sounds. I know everyone's obsessed with the soundboard. I, I can tell. So okay, good. ready? Ready? Yes. Fatality. That's when I ask a straight guy if they're gay. <laughs> Murdered. <laughs> All right, ready? Mm. Oh, my favorite. It's me when I ask why buttholes are brown. <laughs> That's me when um, my friend texts me that she can't hang out, but I see her location. <laughs> and it's like at a bar we both hang out at. I'm like, when did that happen? Have I ever done that? That's me when my boyfriend of eight years doesn't text me back within 10 minutes. <laughs> Hunter Biden, LOL. LOL. I mean, not LOL. It's tragic, right? Really? I mean, I only read his Wikipedia recently. Crazy stuff. I, I mean, crazy stuff. His just, brother is a war hero. Right? Bo? And died of Bo brain was cancer, like right? about to be like the next president. Yeah. And now yeah. Hunter Biden... It has crackhead. literally crackhead gunslinging motherfucking and was hooking up with Bo's ex. Yeah. What the F? Are they still together? No. Oh. He has a wife or no, a new partner or something. Oh. Okay, now we're going to play a segment called Smash or Pass where Caroline, happy pride, happy pride. Uh, says a gay person and I say if I would smash or pass them. Okay. Yep. I, I specifically picked- Pass or pass for oh, yeah. um, butt stuff. Right. I specifically picked um, people that you might not know were 
Oh, gay. okay, cool. So this one's called Smasher Pass. Surprise gays. Yeah. Happy Pride, everyone. Mystery edition. All right, ready? Yes. Wait, let's do a, a gay and let's do a let's do a gay intro. I'll just type in gay into this. Um I'm gay. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. <laughs> yes. Isaac Newton. Really? They say he Come on. Gay. Who said he's gay? They say he never Who made. said he's gay? Why? Because he was standing against a tree like, am I gay? <laughs> <laughs> and the apple hit yes. him. Yes, yes you are. Yes, I am. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. I don't know. I was on a couple of Who countdowns. said he's gay? I don't know. Who it was, was he some, fucking? It said he never Copernicus? married and he never had children. Well, you know, Da Vinci was gay too. Yeah, that was also on but, my list. Oh, uh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. I always think those old, like, I you know. know, curious guys. I feel like he it was wasn't curious about many things, including how, where he wanted to put his cock. Yeah. Did it go in here? No. You know, I also feel like people who think a lot, like, also are, like, really on spe on the spectrum. Yeah. Because they're just so open and they see how being open everything. to everything yeah. is actually more logical and natural to human mm -hmm. uh, humanity mm. so I could I can see how those geniuses mm -hmm. would be if not you know as Caroline told me once she asked a guy on a date how what percent gay he was right and he said 70 percent right yeah and you said you I was like <laughs> like straight to gay ratio <laughs> oh yeah I was like I'll go first I'll say like 80 20 straight to gay and he said, and he was like, said like, I think he said like sixty forty okay. or seventy thirty. And I was you like, said, so, yeah. da, da, da. You, he said like the liberal arts ratio, yeah, yeah of and female like, to men. Hey. And um, he said for answers. Okay, so Sir Isaac Newton was gay. What year was he around? I'm bad with dates. Um, he was. I um. He was born sixteen forty three and died okay. seventeen. And was there rumors? Was there in his journals like you know like I sucked a dick today? Um. There was somebody there. It has been suggested, though purely conjectural and must and much disputed. Okay, I I was on a list today. There was like people you should know were gay in history. Well, yeah, they're gonna toss everyone in there. Yeah. All right. Well, I would I would smash, but I think he would think I'm really stupid. It says according to. But I, then I would be like, dude, we have Wi-Fi, and he'd be like, what's that? Yeah. I'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> Isaac. <laughs> Hi. Like you're smart, but you're like so cute. Like it's so funny, like what you don't know. So social media, you don't know what social media is. Oh my god, oh, I'm gonna be sick. Let's okay, you a next person. Right okay, um, Ash or Smat, Ash or Pat, Ash or Pass. Me? No, me. Ask me. Ash or, Ash or Pass. Ask me someone. Oh, are you someone. saying you're gay? No, oh, okay. no. I I thought we were still on Isaac Newton. Okay. Um, uh, Holland Taylor. Do you who know who the f is that? Okay. Holland, uh, the Holland Tunnel is no. gay. Yes, I had no idea. <laughs> no, but if I saw a picture of her, she's like the professor from Legally Blonde, who like makes. Doesn't Alex. she bug around with Sarah Paulson? I don't. I think so. Um, um, but I think she's kind of cool. Um, pass. I yeah. don't like old people's skin. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm not homophobic. I'm ageist. Next. Okay. Um, well, some of these people are dead. Did you know? Oh, okay. So Isaac Newton's still alive? Yeah. <laughs> no, but I mean, for the old people, I don't know. Whatever. Okay, stop. All right. But if they're dead, I picture them like in there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Sophia Bush. Um, really? She's, she's, she's gay? Yeah. Uh, Smash? Yeah. Smash? That's the Bush daughter? She's the one, she's an actress, but I think oh. she's related to the Bushes. Okay, but she was she's in, like, the one, one who dated Chad Michael Murray? Um, I don't know, but she was in One Tree Hill with him, I think. Okay, yeah. Um, Smash. Okay. Smash. And let me see if she got that bush, and I'm saying, eh, hey. <laughs> um, Smash, and I also want to know LA Secrets next. Um, Tyler, the creator. Smash or ass? I mean, ass or pass? Um... I think pass because mm -hmm. I'm racist. Okay. No, I'm kidding. All right. But I think he right. wouldn't like me. Mm, yeah. I feel like cool like people like that who wear like cool like car like kind of like Carhartt looking Carhartt. with like cool sneakers and like a shorts like a button up that has sh that short sleeves mm -hmm. and um, that kind of look. You know what I mean? Like that like look that of that Brooklyn look. Mm -hmm. That Brooklyn look. Those kind of people when we speak it goes like this. Right. It goes like this. Yeah. I don't think Tyler, the creator, would like me. Right. Yeah. 
I don't, I'm not cool. Mm. He seems cool. Yeah, he you seems know like I mean? he'd be mean to me. Yeah. I don't think he likes white ladies. But maybe Which we, maybe obvious, yeah, yeah. When yeah. any when any black person doesn't like white people, I'm like fully get yeah, it. I'm, like, Dude, I'm not here to convince you because yep. I suck too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next. Um, okay, did you know? Uh, ass or pass? <laughs> Cal Penn, the actor from Harold and Kumar. Really? Is gay. I found that out today. Really? Does yes. he have a hubby? He has a partner, a longtime partner named Josh. But. Um, um, smash, really? smash because I love Harold and Kumar. I know. Same. Although Cal Penn got very serious recently, really? he started doing like politics and stuff. Oh yeah, it's yeah. stuff about Obama. Yeah, but you know, Harold and Kumar was um, my entire personality for a t- couple of years. So yeah, same. <laughs> I had my Instagram or my uh, AIM away message. Did Doogie Howser just steal my fucking car? <laughs> Nice. I, thought, I know. I was like, so no, cool. I was thought I, no, no, I know. I like, I wanted I to be a so stoner cool. so bad. Me too. I wanted to be so cool. Now I have three brain cells yeah. and the rest anyway. is smooth. All right, next. Um, Tim Cook. Did you know he was gay? Oh, yeah. I didn't know he was gay. Yeah. Really? He's the head of Apple. I would fuck him for a free iPad. Yeah. I need an iPad. So, mm. yeah, I would fuck. I would, I would ride that cook. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Does <laughs> he have a hubby? Um, let me see. Tim Cook is gay, really. It does. A gay man is making my making my stuff. No wonder he has like all these things like location services and stuff like that. Yeah. He's like, I need to check on my man. Yeah. He consulted with Anderson Cooper, but that doesn't mean he's. It doesn't say anything about his. his Whoever put me on the Republican text list like needs to die. <laughs> Cause I get rep- How did that happen? I don't know. It ha- it, start- it it leaked in like a couple years ago, mm-hmm. and then just during this election, it really uh, ramped up. And ev- I get text message every day. I just got a new Donald one. Trump? This one says, "Well, butter my biscuit. Oh, State my- Republicans cooked up a rare 10 50 percent match for one hour. Claim before the hens come home to roost." What does that even mean? After freaking Trump got um got uh what's it called the verdict that had him guilty on 13 counts mm-hmm. immediately text messages fraud in the in New York state courts can you believe the results of this fraudulent and what did they say when and you can, and Hunter this shit Biden, that goes like, to cool. old people who are yeah, like oh yeah. why oh yeah they're texting me information they text back My, luckily I'm not sus to QAnon oh, um okay so any more smash or pass Niecy Nash who the fuck is that you don't know who Niecy, Niecy Steve Nash, Nash. She's from Reno 911. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which one? What do you mean? She's the black chick. Oh, the black chick? Yeah. Smash. Yeah. Yeah. She's funny. We could do some good loving. (laughs) Yeah. All right. Well, let's do a FUPA. This has been so fun, everyone. Before I go, uh, let me drop some dates. Um, Coming at you live to Dallas, Texas, Hyenas Comedy Club at the end of June, June 29th through 30th. We're coming to Wilmington, North Carolina, Dead Crow Comedy Club in July. We're coming to Louisville, Kentucky, Louisville Comedy Club in July, Omaha, Omaha Fonda, Funny Bone in July, (laughs) and Chicago, Sandy Chicago. So come on out. (laughs) And guess what? In August, haven't told you guys this, I'm opening for Eliza Schesslinger in New Jersey. We're doing a couple casinos. So that should be pretty cool. And I think I have some more Theo Vaughn gigs coming up in August. So keep you guys abreast. Beep, boop, beep. If you don't know, we have a fucked... <coughs> <laughs> we have a hotline right here where people... Da, 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 dial in. Mm-hmm. It's called the Fucked Up People Anonymous Hotline. You can call and give your little confession about something you've done. So let's see who's here. Mm-hmm. While in the madhouse. Welcome. Thank you for calling the FUPA Hotline. How the hell can I help you? Oh, so I actually had something that came up recently that a freaking a 45-year-old woman wanted to have sex with me. <laughs> and, I, I, and I am only 24 years old. But she freaking, I just texted her in the morning and everything. And next thing you know, she was out of the blue to ask, where are you? Where are you? Then she's like, oh, you're going to be all scared and such. You're going to be, yeah, you're going to be like super scared and such. If I came over, I was like, hey, I don't mind. I like older women. And like, even though I'm like freaking young myself, but you know. But yeah, she actually came over and we were just talking and she literally could not say that she wanted to have sex with me. But eventually it ended up happening. And wow, I was happy after that, but then guess what? (laughs) 
she ended up leaving me to go freaking go. Had she had to go move. But man, I can at least say I fucked the fucked the mom pretty much. So I can't complain there. True. But yeah, <laughs> I was just it was it was uh, it was it was quite an experience that's for sure. But you know, like fucked up my feelings and all that. But yeah, it was. Uh, it fucked with his feelings. I had a good time. Oh. Just, you know, feeling yeah. part kind of sucked. But yeah. yeah. Rocky Hoover, man. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, it's awesome. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, it fucked with your feelings. Yeah. He fucked around and found out. Yeah. You can't be catching feelings for a woman 20 Place years older than age. you. Yeah. You can't be doing that. Mm-hmm. You can't be doing that. You can do, you can fuck, you have sex for sure. Mm-hmm. It's fun. I mean, you know, once you, it's fun once you get like into adulthood, you can really fuck anyone. Mm-hmm. You can fuck anyone. Yeah. It doesn't matter. And as it's fun, you know. especially a mom. I wonder what that pussy was like. You know what I mean? <laughs> if the kid was in the house, this guy actually sounds older than the woman. He sounds. Yeah. Yeah. I thought he was. He's like, she, I fucked a forty-two-year-old woman. I was like, How old are you? Yeah. 50? She was probably hot. Yeah, she was probably hot. Or it sounds know. like probably a coworker situation. Yeah. Maybe. You know, when you have a weird coworker. Yeah. That you fuck. Like when I was in high school, I had sex with people at my pizza. Yeah. Oh my god, I thought you were gonna say Who teachers. Older than this. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, I didn't Which really. we have another one. Okay, 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 that. okay. No, I play. oh my god, I led that. Yeah. I no, like, I would have told you would have done that. Ding, LOL. Ding, yeah, ding. yeah, yeah. <laughs> ready, 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 wait. No, oh, I gotta get better at the soundboard. I know, it's fine. I'm working on it though. Um Um when I was in high school. <laughs> I had sex with guys who were not in high school. Right. But I was, it was like coworkers at the pizzeria I right. worked at. How much older? Um, um, <laughs> um, no, not that much older. It was oh, okay. like, I was a graduated senior. Oh, okay. And they were maybe juniors in college. Okay. Like 18, 21. I'm like, all right. All right. All right. Yeah, That's I okay. don't know. I just realized that. Yeah, I was in high school. Yeah, but. And they were not in high school. Mm. Anyway. All good. It's a fun time. Mm. The summer before college was fun for me. I, I was just starting to get into alcohol and like Parties. everything was so fun. Drinking outside, going to bonfires. And I was working at a pizza place where everyone knew what parties were in happening awesome. all the time. So we always just go to some guy's backyard, yeah. bonfire. I love being play. in the know. Yeah, I know, me too. Just like outside too. Yeah. Beer pong. One time I played beer pong, but with vodka. Ooh oh. wee. Sprinted around the house, threw up, Ugh. went in a pool. Everyone had a pool, so yeah. we were just always jumping in pools. Yeah. Oh, summer in Buffalo area is actually very fun. Yeah, um, yeah. Don't catch feelings for someone like that. It sounds like you guys worked at like Jimmy John's together or something. <laughs> um, and when you can f her, but if you start to say like, "Oh, I think I'm starting to feel something for this 42 year old mom," we're gonna say. <laughs> and a woman like that will be up front. She will tell you if she wants to beat your girlfriend yeah. too. Yeah. So she doesn't say that. Don't expect. Yeah. She's going to, she's going to say, yeah. And you're going to be like, well, I could, I could take care of you. She would say, oh my God, who the hell cares? <laughs> yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. So don't. <laughs> she, and she's going to see you as a little tiny baby. So just mirror, mm. mirror. Yeah. And that goes to actually kind of a lot of women. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. We'll let you know if. Yeah, I guess guys. Well, guys. When guys ask me out and I'll be like, no. (laughs) (laughs) Like you would have known if I wanted to. Right. Stupid. (laughs) Anyway, anyway, anyway. Well, uh, one more, uh, one more fupa, one more fupa, one more fupa. uh, Fuck and fuck another younger girl to know. Thanks for calling the fupa hotline. How can I help you? Okay, so. There was this one time in high school where, um, you know those teachers that they're not actually teachers, they just train them and they like hang around with the real teachers. Yeah, like student teachers. They're like uh, college students. Yeah, student teachers. teachers. (laughs) Well, I was in uh, 10th grade, 16 years old. And this one was from the college around our school. She's a local student. She had grew up in the area. And well, long story short, I ended up fucking her in the study hall on the third floor. What the fuck? And yeah, so I fucked this at the desk. I insane. fucked technically a teacher at my school. That's so insane. that was pretty interesting. And uh yeah, well she tried to blackmail me afterwards. What? So that was a How could you a blackmail a student? Yeah. How could you blackmail a student? The student will be like, this and teacher fucked me. <laughs> yeah, what? 
What would she say? How could you blackmail a student? Would you say that'd be like dining and dashing me? and being like, I will report this restaurant? <laughs> what? You Maybe can't... she would like say she tried to switch it around. Maybe at a small dick, and she's like, I'll show everyone. Right. That would be like, oh my god. He would rather not. How would you? How would you? How would you? I don't know. I don't, I don't want to. I don't even want to think about where her head is at. Yeah. Um, that's insane. Yes, student teachers, student teachers. I remember we I had for, some. totally forgot about student teachers. I used to think they were cool if they Me were too. like young girls yeah. from like yeah. in college Me with too. like fresh nails. We've had them. We had them since like second grade. I remember. I love guys them. would come in and, you know, it's weird. Um, I had a math teacher in high school, and there was a couple subs that were. They weren't student teachers, but they were substitute teachers and younger men, like 24 on. And there was one whose name was Mr. Julian <laughs> and our teacher, Miss Stasiak, was like, and this was 10th grade or something. My friend Toey would have to back me up, maybe ninth grade. She was like, Miss Stasiak was like, I'm not in tomorrow, but we're going to be going over proofs and you will have Mr. Julian, which I'm sure the ladies will find to be a treat. What are you guys, eight? How old were you? We're in high school. Oh, but still. She was like, I think you'll like him, like, about how handsome he was. Okay. Isn't that insane? Yeah, that's inappropriate. What? It's inappropriate. And he did end up being hot as hell. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. But inappropriate. Yeah, Let inappropriate. Let us find out for ourselves. This guy fucked a student teacher in the school. That's insane. School class. School <laughs> classroom. Right next to the maps and the pencils <laughs> and the posters that looked like that. <laughs> Motivated. Reach for the moon if you miss your land among some student teacher pussy. <laughs> that's crazy he probably still jacks off thinking about that oh my god see I feel bad for people who get that kind of stuff because it really messes me. I don't know if you ever watched the show um, A Teacher on Hulu yeah about um, basically a, a boy in high school who gets into a relationship with a teacher and she ends up it happens a lot yeah and he gets in he gets addicted to alcohol and fucking randos in college yeah welcome to the club yeah yeah I feel yeah. like it happens to girls yeah. all the time. Yeah, and and they find out, and they're like, "Dude, you're the shit. You fucked your teacher." So and then the and then the and then it wasn't until a girl was like, "You can talk about it if you want to," because all like everyone was like, "You're fucking awesome," and he you was like, "She fucked talk. me up." Yeah. Anyway, so fucked an old. That was a very um, thematic fupa. Mm -hmm. Old woman fuckable. and a teacher. Maybe they were the same person. Fuckable females. Maybe fuckable <laughs> females. I've never fucked a teacher. Never wanted to. I never got turned on by them. Um, I find them to have unsettling energy. <laughs> you guys, that has been the Madhouse. Peace out. Next week with a brand new guest. Bye. Bye.